Did you know that you can install fonts on your iPad Pro? Well, today is a really quick tutorial. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that and then how to use them. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now today I'm going to show you exactly how to install fonts onto your iPad Pro. You already know you can install custom fonts on your Mac and your PC. When I say custom, I mean the ones that did not already come pre-installed on the operating system. And something special though that I want you to keep in mind for the iPad Pro is that every single application can utilize those fonts. So even if you install the most beautiful font in the world and everything works on the operating system and it's in there, some of the applications will not recognize any fonts beyond the ones that are already installed on that application. But let's get started. You actually need an application to install fonts on the iPad Pro in the first place. Now there were three of them and they are any font, Fontier, and iFont. The last two are free, and the first one does have a cost of $1.99 at the time of this video, and that's actually my favorite one, so that is the one that I am going to show you how to use. So I'm gonna flip it around. The first thing you want to do is go into the App Store and download AnyFont. Now, remember I did say there were two other applications, but I'm just going to show you how to use AnyFont. Remember it does have the $1.99 fee, so we're gonna go ahead and open it. And you can see inside here, I've already installed two fonts. I've installed Aiden and Girlfriend Regular. If you go over here to already installed fonts, you'll see, just like I mentioned before, everything that already came pre-installed onto your iPad Pro or ones that I may have installed over the years. And when I say years, I've only had this iPad for one year, so I guess over the last year. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is everyone gets confused. You don't actually install fonts inside that application. What you need to do is next is email yourself the font. So I emailed myself Velvet Berries. I emailed myself the True Type font. You could have installed emailed yourself the OTF, the open type font, either one would work. And then once you have that font open, it's going to give you a preview and I'm going to go to that share button over here and I am going to open this up in any font. So you'll see over here it says copy to any font. I will say copy to any font. And now we're back in the application and I can see Velvet Berries already in there. Now I want to install it so I'm gonna tap it once. Then I'm going to go ahead and tap that application it's going to ask me if I want to open up a website. I'm going to say yes. Then it's going to open up settings and it's going to ask me if I want to install it. I'm going to click install, then I'll put in my passcode. Then it's going to take me to another screen that's going, you can just ignore this, it's just going to tell you the configuration. You say next and you can ignore this. I thought this was an issue where it says profile is not signed in. Not a big deal. Uh, just go ahead and click install, install again, and that's it, you're done. So go ahead and click done, and you can go ahead and it'll just open up any font again, just confirming like it was there before. So let's go ahead and test out Velvet Berries. Next, we're going to go into Apple Pages because I know for sure that can utilize fonts that I install, and we're going to go ahead and create a blank page. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to select that font that we just installed. So I just installed Velvet Berries and you can see it right there. And now when I type something, it will show up as Velvet Ber Berries. So we got pretty fabulous designs. And that might be a little small, so let's select it all and let's go ahead and change this to maybe a 72. There you go. So there's our new pretty font. And if you're like me, this is something I like doing. And again, I don't know if you guys have used pages, but you can also do annotations and drawing just like you would any of the other apps um, around here. All right, I hope you found that useful, and I have a ton of other videos on how to use the iPad Pro as a planner, how to use it as a notebook, and different things that you can do to create planner layouts for the iPad Pro. So if you love using your iPad, make sure to check those out below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.